Hello and welcome to part 3 of Elite Dangerous. Um, since the last part, I did a couple missions, turned in a few vouchers, and somehow I ended up with 6.6 .6 million credits. Which means that in this part, we are going to buy ourselves a new ship. So, I am in the... Ehekatl system docked at Ivanishan Market and so let's go to Startport Services Shipyard and let's see what they have to offer. So number ooh Imperial Cutter Anaconda God, that is expensive. Imperial Cutter, Anaconda, Crate Mark II, Imperial Clipper, which we can't buy anyways because we don't hold any Imperial titles, Courier, same deal, Dolphin, Type 6 Transporter, Cobra Mark III, Viper Mark III, Imperial Eagle, the Adder, the Hauler, the Regular Eagle, and the Basic Sidewinder, which we already have. Now, the ship that I am looking to buy is the Cobra Mark III, probably the most iconic ship in Elite Dangerous. So, let's see... Those are the base characteristics. Just the outfitting that it comes with. So, let's go and purchase this. Um, and we are going to be keeping the uh, the current signed winner that we have. Uh, I'm going to keep all of my ships just as a memento. So, store current ship. And it's thinking. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Let's go and try to outfit it because we still have 6.2, almost 6.3 million credits. So, in the, ooh, it's a nice blue color as well. I like it. Now, time to start with the most important stuff, the core internals. So, okay, so they don't have fuel tanks, power distributors, or life support at this station. Let's see what they do have. So, with the first, we're going to go with the power plant. And... Uh, oh. Ooh, 1.4 million credits. Okay. We're going to go with the 4A power plant. And... Exchange. We don't want the old one. Now, next is, let's see what the frameshift drives they have, because that's probably the second most important part. We spend most of the time traveling in this game anyways. So let's see if we can, and we can get the max one for 1.6 million credits. And let's see what it takes us from. So the current frameship drive we have is the 4E, which gives us 10, 10 light year jump minimum, 10.74 current, and 11.39 if we're running an empty, I'm assuming. And with the 4A, it gives us, oh wow, double almost. 
definitely getting the A. And let's exchange. Okay, now the thrusters. Let's browse. So currently we have the four E thrusters, which give us a top speed of 282 meters per second, a boost speed of 403 meters per second, and the pitch roll in yaw degrees per second. Okay, do they have? They do have the 4A, which gives us a significant boost. So we are grabbing these and let's exchange. Okay. So 3E. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to go to a different station to see if we can pick up ourselves some scent or some life support and a power distributor, which we do need to feed weapons and such. Let's see what they have for sensors. C, 3B, and 3A. I was hoping they would have some 3D sensors just to cut down on a little bit of weight. And same with life support, we are looking for a 3D life support. Okay, so we'll have to find another station that does have these. Hopefully it's going to be in the same system. Okay, let's go back. What else are we looking for? Utility mount, or no, optional internals. So, this is, so advanced docking computer we don't want. So sell. Super cruise assist we don't want, so we sell. We have empty, empty. Uh, let's sell this cargo rack. Yes, sell. And let's sell these cargo racks because we don't have really have a three spot for them to put in, and we can put a a, a class four cargo cargo rack in there. So let's sell these, get us some extra credits. Now the shield generator. And with the shield generator, I was debating between getting a regular 4A shield generator, which, oh, they only have class 3. So I was debating between getting a 4A and a 4C by weave. So the 4A is going to give us a higher overall strength, and the 4C by weave is going to have a a little bit less strength, but it will give us better recharge on our shields. So, not exactly sure which one to go with. Now, they don't have shields. Let's buy some cargo racks. Cargo rack 4E. And we're gonna buy. And one more, which will give us a total of 32 cargo, 32 tons of cargo that we can take on. Let's see. What else can we put on? Hmm for these one slots. Okay, so for this one, do they have de detailed surface scanner? Oh, let's see, maybe we'll hold off on that because I don't know if I'll have enough credits for the rest of this. Let's see, how 
much does a hanger cost? So in a class 2 slot, do they have anything for hangers? Aha, uh -huh. planetary vehicle hangers, and we want the 2G. Oh, the 2H, what's the difference? Okay, so the 2H is more massive, so it weighs more, but it draws less power. It only draws 0.25 megawatts. And, but it weighs 12 tons. The 2G is only only weighs 6 tons, but it draws 0.75 megawatts. Um, well, I mean, since we have the best power plant available for this ship, might as well save a little bit on the weight. We can afford the power, so let us buy the vehicle. The 2G planetary vehicle hangar. Let us buy Looks like we have to buy a scarab. Buy. Good. Now, let's see. Do we want. Ooh, we also want a collector limpet controller. 1A, 9600. Max active limpet one, range 1200. Perfect. This will just help us gather materials in space. That way we don't have to actually scoop them up physically into a cargo bay. We can just let the limpet do the thing. Buy. Yes, and it's relatively cheap too. Now. Hard points. Now, what? Do, uh, another thing is the weapons. Let's actually no. Let's not sell these. Um, pulse, pulse, pulse lasers. So one G. It's a turreted. So no, we don't want the turret. These are fixed. Ooh. So what we can do is let's sell these. I like the animation. All right, let's sell. All right, so. For the weapon setup, I was thinking about running two small pulse lasers and two class two multi cannons. If they had multi cannons, or mm, they don't have a class two cannon. Let's see. 2G, 2F, gimbaled. More power draw, more damage per second than a 7.3, 12.6, armor piercing, rate of fire, 7.7, 7, shot speed, maximum range. So let us buy, I'll make sure we put them in the right slot. Oh, come on. There we go. So, two medium multi cannons. Um, there you go. So, 2F gimbaled. 57,000. That's for one. And let's buy a second one. Excellent. Now they don't have any gimbaled pulse lasers, unfortunately. 
Well, let me just double check again. Yeah, just the turreted. So we will have to pick them up at an another station. So what else? Utility mounts. Let's see, chaff launchers, heat sink launchers, kill worn scanners, manifest scanners, wake scanners, point defense turrets, shield boosters. So let's, oh, ho, oh, ho, that's pricey. But it does give us a nice boost. Plus, I just don't know what the numbers will be when we get the normal shield on it. So, yikes. Okay, yeah, let's buy this. I'm gonna buy two of them. Shield booster and let's do another shield booster. Uh, buying options. Yes. Purchase. Now, what else do we have left? We want... We want the fuel scoop. That's what we want. So that way we don't have to pay for fuel or stop at a station to buy fuel we can actually scoop it up ourselves and fuel scoops oh and i wonder what the prices are on these two oh boy 284,000 credits scoop rate 0 0.08 tons Hmm. So expensive too. Now I'm wondering if we actually need it or not. Um. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. And we are under a million credits left. So let's say we do this. We will go for the rest of the core internals that are not on this station. And so we need life support, power distributor, and sensors. Okay. So thanks to EDDB, um, a great little website, which actually helped me find where to buy all of this beforehand so that I don't have to wander aimlessly through the galaxy looking for this stuff. So in the same system, but in Mickelson Port, where is it? Mickelson Port. I believe it's the first one. Yes, it is. So let's go there. And there we should be able to pick up the power distributor, the life support system, and the sensors. So let's head over there right now. And on the way, we can test out the new flying capabilities of this ship. Because I am eager to find out how much better this is compared to the Sidewinder. Landing gear. Let's see. Oh, and so far it feels much better. much more responsive let's see full throttle oh, full power to engines 
and it gives us 308 meters per second. Let's see how fast it stops. Well, it doesn't stop as fast as one would hope, but still heaps better than the Sidewinder. Let's see, what was that message about? Fire groups. Fire groups, there we go. Okay. Um, oh yeah, let's... Discovery scanner at 1, data link scanner at 2. And we'll assign you a different button, eventually. Let's go to Mickelson Port. Pick up the rest of our build there. Yeah, but so far I'm liking this. An extra seat even. Very nice. It's a little bit off-center. Falcon de Lacy. Hmm. Perfect. Let's see who else is in this system. Plus, running around just scanning random people is a good way to just collect uh, data that you would need later on for the engineers. Let's see, 46. Just want to make sure I don't loop again. I've been doing that a lot lately, but I have been getting better. 75% Oh Oh Uh-oh. Did I loop it? Uh please don't tell me I looped it. I looped it. Ah, man. Okay, let's try this again. Let's slow down a bit more. Okay. Well, at least this way we are going to be popping right to the front door of it. We don't have to fly around the whole station just to get in front. Come on. Conflict zone. I don't want any conflict. I just learned to fly yesterday. Okay. And disengage. Oh. West docking. Landing permitted. Grid for landing on docking bay one. Now, let's slow down a little bit. God, this thing is much faster than the sidewinder. Gotta get used to the speed difference. So pad twenty one. Where are you? Down there. Deploy landing gear. Yeah, I gotta be careful with this thing. This thing's a little bit of a hot rod. Yeah. 
And land, land. Perfect. Now, starboard services. Let's see what we have for outfitting. I really do hope EDDB didn't lie because I really don't want to be flying around looking for the stuff halfway around the galaxy. Okay, core internals. What do we have? So, power distributors probably our next biggest need. Okay, power 3A power distributor. Perfect. Let's exchange. Now, for the sensors. Voila! 3D sensors. They less range, but they do save on mass, where, uh, let's say, 3C and 3B are... 3C is 5 tons, 3B is 8 tons, 3D is 2 tons. Still does gives us better range than the E-Class and weighs less than the rest. Actually, it weighs less than E, I believe. Yeah, yeah it does. So, 3D sensors it is. And we will exchange them. Now, life support. And we'll slap 3D life support just to save on the weight. And plus, I mean, if you are a real pilot, then breathing vacuum should not be a th should not be a problem for you. And exchange. So, what else do we want? Bulkheads? Do we have anything reinforced? Mil military mirrored company. Holy crap! That costs like three times as much as the ship. I guess we'll stick with the light weights for now. I don't plan into getting into any massive wars. So, the sh I don't want to spend extra, or not even extra, that much money on something that I probably won't need. Famous last words. Let's see, what else? Life support sensors. Let's check out the hard points. Maybe they have pulse lasers that are gimbaled. Nope. Turreted. Hmm. Let's see. Alright, so no pulse lasers just yet. Optional internals. What do we have left? So we have the collector limpet. We have the planetary vehicle. And now the shield. Let's see if they have what we are looking for. Uh, shield generators, class 4, perfect. So, 3E e shield we don't want. So, where are the 4? Four? 4B. Yikes, that is crazy. 4A. 4A shield is 1.6 million credits. Ouch. That hurts. Hmm. How much? I wonder how much the four C biweaves are gonna cost us. Cause hopefully we can just buy those, and then I will make extra money to buy the rest of the outfitting. Cause then we'll just have the the detailed surface scanner that we need to get, and I think think that's it. So, 4C by weave. Those were located at Atwater Station, which is... Ah. 
add water. So, system map. Nope. Add water gateway. There we go. Let's head on over there and let's see if they have what we're looking for. So, let's launch. Boost speed of 442. Very nice. You have cleared the no fire zone. Flight controls are lighting off. What is that? What it was that combat zone, or are they having a war in this system? Hmm. Ah, uh, well, I guess so. Man, but the ship flies really nice. Let's shield our eyes and not look at the sun. front of us doesn't look like it let's slow down and try not to overshoot this station are you serious I really have to get a hang of this. But I guess that will come with time and practice. Let's see, let's request docking. Landing pad 4. 
Now, would somebody please tell me where that is on this station? Okay, so how what's the proper way to land on this? This way I'm assuming. Yeah, I got nothing to scan for. Yeah, there we go. Line this up. Oh, where's my reverse thrust? There it is. Oh, wrong button thrusters. Success! Okay, let's see if EDDB light or not. We are looking for 4C. By weave. Okay, optional internals, shield generator, browse. shield generator and we are looking for no 4c by weave let's see Where are so both of them way the same? Uh, the by weave does have less integrity, unfortunately. Same optimal hole, maximum hole. Let's see, read more shield generator that sacrifices overall shield strength for much faster recharge rates so where are the recharge rates then Eating mass integrity boot time regen rate 1.8 units per second and a broken regen rate at 3.8 per second that's pretty good. Well, it's what kind of what looks like standard resistances. And let's see what the A shield generator does. So, more strength, more optimal strength, more. Oh, but yeah, regen rates. One per second, and then 2.5 per second for broken regen. Well, I guess I guess let it, let's go with by weave. So if we get a by weave, we will get 140 shield strength. With the 4A, we'll get 173. But my thinking is, with the by weave, it, it is weaker, but it will regenerate faster than the regular shield, because if the regular shield goes down. It's gonna take it way longer to completely regenerate, so then you'd have to run and stay out of the fight, whereas with the by weave you'll be able to get into the fight faster. So 
I guess let's go with the 4C Biweave. And let us exchange. Excellent. Now, maybe they have some heart points here that I can actually purchase. Oh, wow, they don't even... Oh, pulse lasers. Haha. -ha. There we go. 1G gimbaled. Let's buy you. Just love the animations. Uh, pulse. Well, what about beam? 7.7 .7 per second. Distributor draw 2.11. Thermal load 3.7. Armor piece in 19. Maximum range 3000. 600 meter fall off. Oh, and what are these? So, quite less load, less distributor draw, so we can land more shots. Yeah, since the distributor on the ship is only a class 3, yeah, pulse lasers, I think, are the way to go. So, bye. Okay, now that's the hard points done, the utility mounts done, core internals are done. Let's see, optional internals. So we have two cargo racks, the 4C biweave shield generator, the, pla the scarab hanger, collector limpet, what else was I gonna put on here? Seems like there's a few extra spots. Hmm. So we have 529,000 credits. Um, I wouldn't want to go under what our insurance is gonna cost because I just, if I die, I want to be able to buy this back. So. I was planning to put on a fuel scoop and the detailed surface scanner. So let's see if how much that will cost us. Surface scanners, 250. Yeah, that will take us under. So no sensors yet. And a fuel scoop is going to set us back. 284,000. Uh, okay. I guess we will buy those at a later time once I get some more money, which shouldn't be difficult. I mean, I scrounged up several million dollars just doing regular missions and bounty hunting. So, shouldn't be a problem with that. So, let's see. Uh, two class two fuel scoop and a detailed surface scanner which leaves one more one more class two slot <clears throat> so what can we put in there fsd interdictors uh no already have a hangar refinery well we could do that once we do some mining Repair limpets, nah, shield cell banks. Time spin of duration, shield, thermal, ther okay. So we will need some heat sinks if we want to run these without melting the ship. Hmm. I guess let's put in another cargo rack. I mean, more cargo never hurt anybody. And this will take us to 36 tons of cargo, which is pretty good for a ship this size. So, 
let's buy another cargo rack. And then in the remaining slots would be the fuel scoop and the surface scanner. So, okay. Now, do we have anything in livery? Or livery? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Cobra Mark III. Cobus Maxim Paint Job. <clears throat> oh, we have a paint job available. That is interesting. Not my favorite. Hmm. What else do they have here? Let's see, vibrant yellow, red. Purple, vibrant blue. Ooh, I do like the look of that blue. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick with the original. Now, don't have any weapon detailing, engine detailing, but that is something we can get with all the um, arc points that we have been gaining. So, decals. Yeah, just these noob symbols. Let's see, let's not put those on there. Ship kits. Well, don't have any of that, so... Let's see. Let's see what our overall status is. Let's see. Ship. Where, where would that be? Oh, we got a set of fire groups. So. Pulse laser. It's going to be fire group 2. Multi cannon fire group 1. Discovery, and then I guess we will put you into three or fire group C until I figure out a button I can assign you so that way I don't have to take up a fire group. So, ship. There we go. <coughs> so, currently. 21.67 light year jump range. That is pretty darn good. 140 shield health, uh, 40 kinetic resistance, negative 20 thermal resistance, 50% explosive resistance to shields. Nice. Then 216 armor. Well, all of this is going to be upgraded anyways once we hit the engineers. So, not to worry. Just got to make sure I don't get into, into too much over my head. And we should be fine. Okay. Well... Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.